All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been going over a series of 11 different presentations from Microsoft's Getting Started with ASP.NET MVC5. I'm now up to Article 9 of 11, adding a new field. I've done the getting started, adding a controller, adding a view, adding a model, creating a connection string, and working with SQL Server, local DB, accessing your model's data from a controller, examining the edit method and edit view, and adding search. So now it's adding a new field. So we have three more to go in this section. We will add a new field, then we'll look again at, at adding validation, where I think we'll look again at data annotations, and we'll end up examining the details and delete methods. So in here, as it says, in this section, we'll use the entity framework code first migrations to create some changes to the model classes so the change is applied to the database. By default, when you use the entity code first to automatically create a database like we did earlier, code first adds a table to the database to help track whether the schema is in sync with the model classes it was generated from. If they are not in sync, the entity framework throws an error. And you'd actually want that to happen because nothing is as important to a, court, to a company as its data. This makes it easier to track down issues at development time that might otherwise you might only find at runtime. So we're going to follow the steps that are in here. Navigate to the Solution Explorer. We are going to um, right click on our movies file and select delete to remove it. It says if you don't see the file, do a show all files first. So I'm trusting, I guess, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to stop the run that we had going earlier. I don't think that's up here. No, it's not running here. So, so we are going to right mouse click. And I just want to follow their steps. Right click on the movies.mdf and delete. We are asked, you know, we're warned hey, this is going to be permanent, okay, and it's gone. We're back to nothing in our app data. So we did that. Build the application again to make sure that there are no errors. Probably should have saved first. I didn't, but that's, I think it'll be okay. All right, I don't see anything that looks bad down here. Nope. All right. From the Tools menu, click Library Package Manor Manager, and then Package Manager Console. I think they meant NuGet and Package Manager Console. So you'll notice that this is the NuGet Package Manager. It just gives me a, a prompt of PM for Package Manager. And in the package manager console, we want to enter this. Enable, and I believe this is case sensitive. Enable minus, no space, migrations, space, minus context, type name, space, MVC movie dot models dot movie DB context two is what they tell us to put in here hit enter it says the two is not found in the assembly of MVC movie I'm going to try it again without the two that's not found either well that isn't good Enable minus migrations space minus context type name space MVC movie dot models dot movie DB context two. 
Well, let's try it again and let's get rid of that space. Well, it's, now it's giving me a lot of errors, so that's okay. All right. Okay, so it does need the minus, uh, it does need the space there. All right. Double check one more time to make sure I didn't type anything wrong. Enable minus migrations minus context type name MVC movie dot models dot ooh that says move not movie oops movie DB context two hit enter still says that that was not found and it is spelled right now so let's try it one last time without the two now it looks like it's working all right so the enable migrations command creates a configuration.cs file in a new folder called migrations there it is We want to open that file and replace the seed method in there with the following code. So where's the seed method? There it is. Notice there's nothing in there. Okay, so I'm going to remove everything that's there. Other than the comment. Right. I'm going to go back to here. Um, to our handout. And I'm going to grab everything that's in there. Should be everything that's inside of there. Take it back here paste it in. All right. It says right click on the red squiggly line under movie then select resolve. And then click using MVC movie models. Well it's not showing us that there. So it should be able to do that under any of these. There is no resolve. But what I'll do is I'll come back up to the top here and I will add using MVC movie dot models. All right. And let's see if that got rid of the squigglies. And it looks like it did. Code first migrations, which is what we're doing in here, all right, calls the seed method after every migration. That is, it calls calling update database in the package manager console. And this method updates rows that have already been inserted or inserts them if they don't already exist. Mistake. That should be. I don't, say, I don't think absurd is a word. The add or update method in the following code performs an absurd operation. I guess that is true because that's a combination of update and insert. That's what they call upsert. Never heard that term before. All right. 
Because the seed method runs with every migration, you can't just insert data because the rows you are trying to add will already be there after the first migration. So an upsert operation prevents errors that would happen if you tried to insert an already existing row. At the same time, it overrides any changes to the data you may have made while testing the application. With test data in some tables, you might not want that to happen. In some cases, when you change data while testing, you want your changes to remain after the database updates. If that's the case, you want to do a conditional insert, inserting the row only if it doesn't already exist. The first parameter, as mentioned there, passed to the add or update method, specifies the property to use to check if a row already exists. For the test movie data that we're providing, the title can be used for this. In other words, we're checking to make sure that each title is unique. So the code assumes that titles are unique. If you manually add a duplicate title, you're going to get an exception that says sequence contains more than one element. So if you find that confusing or you want to learn more, you can look at the hyperlinks that are provided here and also on the bottom of page 7 of the handout. So the author says, press Control shift b to build the project. Probably should have been back there. So control shift b to build the project. The following steps will fail if you don't do that. All right, so build So, the next step, as mentioned right here, is to create a DB migration class rather for the initial migration. This migration creates a new database, and that's why we deleted the one that we had in there previously. Should make sense. In the Package Manager console window, which is where we just were, so down here, Enter the command add hyphen migration initial. That should create the initial migration. The name initial is arbitrary and it's used here to name the migration file that was created. And there is initial right there. Code First Migrations creates another class in the Migrations folder with the name date stamp, all right, initial CS. So that's the date stamp. Today is the 2018, it's 522, and the time, etc. It's, it's got all that information in there. That contains the instructions to create the movies table for the movie database. When we update the database in the instructions below, this timestamp file will run and create the schema for us. Then the seed method will be used to populate the database with test data. In the manager console, we are now supposed to enter the command in here, update minus database. That should create the database, and also run the seed method. All right? The author says here, if you get an error that indicates the table already exists and can't be created, it's probably because you ran the application after you deleted the database, but before you executed update minus database. If that's the case, and it did not happen here, delete the movies.mdf file again, and retry the update minus database command. If you still get the error, delete the migrations folder and basically start with the instructions at the top of the previous page. That is, delete the MDF file and proceed to enable migrations. All right? So let's save all, run the application.
navigate to the movie's URL. And when we do, we should see that our seed data has been put back in there. Sorry, again, this is slowing up because, oh, I'm not. Hold on a second. I have to check something. I can do it with you here. So I'm going over here to my E drive. Okay, this shouldn't be running that slow because I am, uh, I am not right now. I am taping, but I am not uh, producing right now. All right, notice our data is back. All right, the order has changed because that's the order that it was put in that file that we just added. Now, I'm going to do something, not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but since this is a long presentation, I'm going to stop right here on the bottom of page 10 of 21, and I'm going to add a part two to this, all right? Be back shortly.